just waking up and I'm starting my morning off with a glass of water, two tablespoons of vinegar, and one tablespoon of lemon juice. And I do this because I've been going through blood pressure issues, another reason why I want to lose this weight. So just wanted to let you guys know how I'm starting my morning. Good morning YouTube so I'm about to prepare my breakfast this morning um, so right now you see your onion that's here your purple onion there and then your green onion here and I'm about to saute it here and so once I saute it and get it all together I'm gonna come back and show you the recipe that I'm about to do so as you can see, you can see that it's kind of cooking and I use um, extra virgin olive oil to go in it as well. I'm sorry you hear my son up there just yelling, but I just wanted to kind of take you guys through my keto journey. So I'm not eating any salt. So what I did, I did, um, and I'm not promoting um, Walmart, but this is some garlic powder. I need a little Italian seasoning, and I am looking um, so I'm to put a little uh, paprika in it. You can if you want to, but I'm not choosing to. And I'm just simply, I have it um, cooked on like lower too, just so that it can take its time. It's looking good. And again, this is for my breakfast, and this is my keto. So this is the second day of keto. And I just want to take you guys on this journey. I'm so excited about it. So now I batter up three eggs because they're about to go here, guys. I'm trying to make preparations for breakfast all week. Uh, well, for the remaining week, today is Thursday. This is Miss Dash. I don't have a whole lot left. I'm going to give me a little couple sprinkles of that on here. And then um, I cannot grind my pepper while I'm on the phone. Um, but, sorry while I'm recording. But this is the pepper that I'm going to use. Now, normally I would use spinach to go as my green um, in it. But I don't have any spinach. I'm improvising. Um, these are some French green beans, and I'm draining all the salt. And I'm washing all the salt off of it, and so this is what I'm going to use as my green for the inside. So I chopped them up really small on the cutting board um, so that I can saute them. And here's a portion that I'm putting in here now. And some sauteing that. I want you to see how it looks. Nice colors. And again, you got your three peppers. You got your, I mean, three onions. You have your yellow onion, purple onion, green onion. And these are long grain beans that I shredded down. So this has become my best friend, which is our air fryer. And I want to show you how I put some turkey bacon in. And as you can see, it's ready. I want to show you what I did. All I did was just put just a little, I sprayed um, butter in the bottom of the pan. Then I just put just a little bit of eggs in the bottom of the pan. And I'm about to get ready and put the stuffing, which is here in the pan. And as you guys can see, I added um, the mixture that I made earlier, which was, again, um, French green beans. And I chopped them up to very small pieces. Um, yellow onion, purple onion, green onion. And I sauteed all of it together. It smells so good, guys. Now, I'm about to go ahead and put the, um, the bacon on top of it. And you guys are about to see how I'm about to do it. Now you guys can see how I topped it. Now I do want to let you guys know I use Butterball turkey bacon. The sodium is low and then it's more healthy for you and I put it in the air fryer. So it looks so nice guys. 
but I want you to see. Let me try to get up close for you so that you can see what it looks like so far. So now what I'm about to do is I'm about to top it with the egg topping, um, the egg batter, and then I'm going to put cheese on top. I Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Now, this is where I topped it with the eggs on the top. Now, I know you guys are looking like it doesn't look like a lot, but know that we put it on the bottom and we topped it off on the top, and it will rise as it cooks. So, I want you to see what it looks like, and now we're about to put the cheese. So, this is with the cheese on top, guys. So, now we've done it with the cheese on top. I use mozzarella cheese, um, you guys can use let's put a little bit of this on there yeah um you guys are can use whatever you choose to use on yours um but i'm using mozzarella for this particular dish but sometimes i use um the mixed cheese with the kobe jack the mozzarella and the blended so today i decided to use mozzarella using what I got. So sometimes when you don't have all the ingredients, I promise you, if you look deep, you have substitutes. So now we're about to put it in the oven. And I'm just putting it in the oven right here. And we're going to put it in the oven for on 350 for about 15 minutes. Now, I normally sometimes go up and down when it comes to the temp. So, if I look at it and I feel like it's cooking too much, I'm going to drop that temperature until like 325 because I do not like burnt food. So, anyway, stay tuned. You guys will see the finished product. So, um, this is the finished product. It has been in the oven. The cheese melted perfectly. Um, what I normally do is allow it to cool out for a second before I, you know, go ahead and begin to eat it and partake on it. So I just want you guys to see how nice it looks. Um, and this is my preparation for breakfast on today and tomorrow. So, I always put a little parsley on my stuff because I believe in presentation. So, stay tuned. So, here's the parsley on it, and I just like it. I think it just makes your food look nicer. Please excuse that I didn't make this you know, as nice as I could. But, um, it's going to be delicious, and it's very healthy. So, here is the finished product, guys looks wonderful so i'm about to enjoy it i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like it subscribe give it a thumbs up leave any comments any recipes you guys can suggest for me to make on this keto journey of 365 days i appreciate it i love you guys talk to you soon